Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing problem number 5 on duality. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 5 on duality. Now in the problem, you are finding equal to as well as unrestricted. So this is basically a combination of problem number 3 and 4. Before uh, watching this video or going ahead, you should be very clear with problem number 3 and 4. I hope you are clear with it. Let us move on with problem number 5. So here equal to is given and unrestricted. As discussed, x3 is unrestricted. Therefore, you need to replace x3 with x1, x2 are already used. So x4 minus x5. And one more thing, equal to is given and equal to you need to convert it into less than equal to and greater than equal to since it is maximized first will take less than equal to then will take greater than equal to so this is maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 7x3 x3 you are going to write it on as x4 minus x5 next subject to let us first complete our primal then we'll convert it into dual it's x3 x3 is x4 minus x5 this constraint is actually greater than equal to we need to multiply with the minus sign so that it will be converted into less than equal to so that is minus 4 x1 plus x2 plus x3 and x3 we know x3 is actually x4 minus x5 less than equal to minus 15 there is a constraint equal to so equal to will be divided into two less than equal to and greater than equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 so x3 will be x4 minus x5 less than equal to 7 and x1 plus x2 plus x3 x3 is x4 minus 5 that will be greater than equal to 7 x1 x2 x4 x5 greater than equal to 0 what next first of all our primal should be ready so that we can get can we can convert it into dual for primal it is maximized and all the constraints should be less than equal to so this constraint has to be less than equal to so let us start so this is maximize z is equal to 3 x1 plus 4 x2 let us open the bracket plus 7x4 minus 7x5 next subject to first constraint so that is x1 plus x2 plus x4 minus x5 less than equal to 10 see here next constraint as it is minus 4x1 plus x2 plus x4 minus x5 plus x4 minus x5 less than equal to minus 15 next third constraint will also remain as it is x1 plus x2 plus x4 minus x5 less than equal to 7 the next constraint is actually greater than equal to you need to multiply with the minus sign and convert it into less than equal to so that is minus x1 let us multiply with minus minus x1 minus x2 this is minus x4 and this will become plus if you multiply with minus sign that is that will also be less than equal to minus 7 and finally we do have x1 x2 x4 x5 greater than equal to 0 our primal is ready see it is maximized and all the constraint are less than equal to our primal is ready now we can write it on its dual so dual is from right hand side of the constraint w is equal to obviously it is maximized then its dual will be minimized w is equal to see here 10 y1 minus 15 y2 plus 7 y3 minus 7 y4 subject to x1 coefficient 1 minus 4 1 minus 1 1 minus 4 1 minus 1 see here 1 minus 4 1 minus 1 1 minus 4 1 and minus 1 since it is minimized it will be greater than equal to 3 next 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 and minus 1 greater than equal to 4 next 
with x4 we have 1 1 1 and minus 1 again so 1 1 1 and minus 1 greater than equal to 7 see here next minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 greater than equal to minus 7 next uh, y1 y2 y3 y4 greater than equal to 0 so we are ready with the dual what next obviously it is not yet done because if in the problem equal to as well as unrestricted therefore in the solution both should come equal to as well as unrestricted so if you observe see here here the coefficients are same and you can verify here equation number three you converted this equal to into in the third equation that means because of this third and four see here in third and four because of this equal to converted into third and four so this is a third and fourth term or simply if you follow the procedure just check which coefficients are same so seven is common here so therefore y3 minus y4 put it as y dash so this is the substitution that we're going to do and see here it is minimized and also there should be equal to in the solution so for equal to these two equation will be combined therefore you need to multiply this equation and you need to convert it into less than equal to because the problem is minimized and in case of minimize greater than equal to and less than equal to will become equal to so let us start so this is minimize w is equal to 10 y1 minus 15 y2 10 y1 minus 15 y2 plus 7 y3 minus y4 y3 minus y4 is y dash subject to y1 minus 4 y2 see here y1 minus 4 y2 this is your y dash greater than equal to 3 next y1 plus y2 see here y1 plus y2 this is your y dash greater than equal to 4 next this is y1 plus y2 see here y1 plus y2 this is your y dash greater than equal to 7 this constant will be multiplied with the minus sign so this is again y1 plus y2 if you multiply with the minus sign and if you multiply with minus this will become plus and this will become minus that means that will become y3 minus y4 that means again that is y dash less than equal to if you multiply with minus sign less than equal to 7 y1 y2 will be greater than equal to 0 and y dash is unrestricted so unrestricted we got it now what just merge these two equation and write it down equal to and that's your required solution so final solution is minimize w is equal to 10 y1 minus 15 y2 plus 7 y dash subject to y1 minus 4 y2 plus y dash greater than equal to 3 y1 plus y2 plus y dash greater than equal to 4 merge these two y1 plus y2 plus y dash equal to 7 y1 y2 greater than equal to 0 and y dash is unrestricted see in the problem there was uh, equal to we got in the solution unrestricted in the question it was equal to equal to so we got unrestricted in the solution and in the problem it was unrestricted we got equal to in the solution so that's it it's a combination of problem number three and four we're done with it hope you understood thank you